Come on to your hands and knees for cat cow. Spread your hands and fingers, have your hands shoulder distance apart and lengthen through your arms. Be in a neutral long spine here. Steady your breath and then start to tuck your pelvis under, round your back, bring your chin towards your chest, pull your waist up to the ceiling. Exhaling here. And then as you inhale, let the belly drop, lift your buttocks, shoulders back, lift your chest and look up. And then exhale into cat, tucking the buttocks down, chin to chest. And then inhale into cow, letting the belly drop down, buttocks lifting and spreading, chest opening, lift your collarbones, look up. And exhale back into cat. And keep going at your own pace, moving with your breath. And enjoy the journey into cat and the journey into cow and enjoy the full expression of each pose. Be in your whole body as you go back and forth here. Moving and breathing in a rhythm that feels right to you. See if you can feel yourself passing through neutral as you move from one to the other. And move your entire spine. So feel your pelvis and lower spine. Feel the lumbar, the thoracic, and the cervical spine all joining in for this experience. Steady breathing, steady movements, smooth and steady. And then come back to a neutral spine here and take a breath in neutral. Now we'll practice downward facing dog with a chair. Please bring a chair over to the wall so the back of the chair is right up against the wall. Rest your hands on the edge of the seat of the chair and then step your feet back one at a time. Bend your knees, lift your buttocks, Pull the entire pelvis up and back away from the push of the hands, which are pushing onto the seat of the chair. Pull your outer hips back away from the wrists. Relax your head down. Pull your thighs back. Pull your inner thighs back especially. And create more length in the backs of the legs. You can start to straighten your legs, but just make sure that you're keeping your buttocks lifting. For you, that might mean that you stay with bent knees. Backs of the legs lifting and long, buttocks lifting and spreading. Pull your thighs back, pull your inner thighs back, pull your outer hips back, and enjoy this stretch and lengthening action of the trunk. Head relaxing down, arms very relaxed. Press your hands forward and down into the seat of the chair. Stretch through the elbows and the armpits. And release as you breathe. Be engaged and release any tension. Release tension in your spine. And then lean into the seat of the chair as you step your feet forward and stand up. Now grab your blocks for a simple lunge and stand at the front of your mat with your feet together, thighs rolling in, thighs back, long spine, open chest. And bring your hands down onto the blocks and step your left foot back into a lunge. 
Bring your right he knee directly over your right heel. So the knee should not be too much forward of the right heel. You might need to scoochie your left toes further back. Now lift the left thigh and pull the outer right thigh back into your hip. Squeeze your outer hips together slightly and then elongate your spine, especially the front surface of the spine. Let your belly be buoyant. Let your hips be buoyant. Keep your back thigh lifting. Be strong in your legs and fluid in your long spine here. And then step your back foot forward and step your right foot back into a lunge so that your left knee is directly over your left heel. And let your hips sink down, but only until your hips are about at the height of your front knee. Lift your back thigh, especially the inner back thigh. Stretch back through the back heel and stretch forward through your spine. Pull the outer left thigh back into the hip. Lengthen the abdomen. Be long in your arms. Be buoyant in your belly. Connect your outer body to the midline here. And then step your back foot forward. Bring your hands to your outer hips. Lift your shoulders and stand on up. Lay down on your back for a simple hip stretch. Knees bent, feet flat. Move the flesh of your buttocks away from your lower back and relax here on the floor. Reach your arms overhead along the floor and lengthen out your trunk. Be in your feet. Be relaxed in your pelvis. Lengthen internally through the torso, through the cavity of the trunk. Get long and open there. And now cross your right ankle over the left knee. And open the right knee out to the side. And then bring your left knee in towards your chest. Reach through the hole with your right arm and reach around the other side of your left thigh with your left arm and grab the back of your left thigh with both hands. And then pull your left knee and your right ankle, of course, in towards your chest. Keep opening the right knee, pressing the right knee away from your torso. And breathe into the sensations. Breathe into your outer right hip. To make the stretch a little more intense, you can pull the left knee even closer in towards your body. Keep pressing the right thigh and the right knee away from your body. So there's an external rotation happening in that right thigh. Breathe here as you stretch. And then release and place both feet down onto the floor and cross the left ankle over the right knee. And let the left thigh externally rotate, which will open that left knee out to the side. And now reach your left arm through the hole. Reach your right arm around the right side and grab the back of your right thigh with both hands. Pull the right knee towards the chest. Reach the left thigh and left knee away from your chest. And breathe into the outer left hip. Breathe into the sensations. Breathe into the stretch. Stay long in your spine here, long in your trunk. Inhaling and exhaling here as you stretch. Press that left knee away from your body and feel that deep external rotation in the left thigh. 
You can pull the right knee a little bit closer in towards your chest to increase the stretch. Steady breath. And then release and place both feet down onto the floor. Stretch your arms out to the side. You'll be on your back now for a windshield wiper. Knees bent and feet flat and walk your feet out wider so that your feet are on the very outer edges of your mat. Stretch your arms out to the sides at shoulder height. And then lower your knees down to the right. The feet will stay glued right where they are. Just the knees lower down and down and down to the right. And enjoy this gentle twist. The right thigh is externally rotated and the left femur is internally rotated slightly. Resting here and breathing and feel the way the femurs are doing different things in the hip sockets. And then inhale and lift your knees right up to center and keeping your feet glued down, lower your knees over to the left side. And feel how your femurs relate to the hip sockets differently from each other. Now the left thigh is externally rotating in the socket and the right femur is internally rotating in the socket. Relax and breathe length into your trunk. Keeping the feet glued down, inhale your knees up to the center and then all the way over to the right side. And then breathe as you take your knees up to center and exhale your knees down to the left side. And then inhale your knees up to the right. And then up and to the left. And knees up and knees fall to the right. And knees up and knees fall to the left. So the feet aren't really moving at all. They're staying in the same position. And just keep going here, lowering the knees to the right and then the left. Smooth movement here to lubricate the hip sockets. And feel the way your femurs are relating to your hips as you move, as you breathe as you relax and lengthen the spine, as you relax into the floor, and then come up to center. And now stretch your legs out, roll your thighs in, extend your legs fully, open the feet and the toes, and reach your arms overhead along the floor. Stretch through your armpits, your elbows, your hands, and your fingers. Create energy and length through the arms and through the legs. And breathe up and down your entire body, creating length. Be long and relaxed in your abdomen. Breathe into your rib cage. Roll those thighs in and stretch your legs more. Stretch your arms more. Pull your rib cage towards your arms and pull your hips towards your legs and let your lower back receive that stretch. Breathing here. Be very active here. And then lower your arms down, bend your knees and feet flat. Have a bolster and a strap ready for a variation of supported fish. Have your back to the horizontal bolster and release your buttock flesh away from your lower back. And then lay back over the bolster so the bolster is supporting your rib cage. Think of the bolster being right underneath your shoulder blades and stretch your arms up and overhead with the strap in your hands at about shoulder distance apart. Knees are bent, feet are flat. And when you feel steady and stable here, then you can start to release and lengthen your legs. Create length in your whole body. Relax and release into the support of the bolster and enjoy this supported extension of your spine. 
Let the thighs be heavy. Let the abdomen be long and relaxed. And give some energy to your arms and legs to extend and lengthen the limbs, to lengthen through the elbows and the knees. Release and relax the muscles of your back and your neck. See if you can breathe into your rib cage, breathing really into the lungs. Open the soles of the feet, open the toes. Relax and release as you lengthen here. Steady inhale. Steady exhale. And now one at a time, bend your knees, bring your feet flat, and slowly roll over to your right side. And then come up to sit. <laughs> 